Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 11 in the Broken Access Control module titled Insecure Direct Object References. All right, let's get started. This lab stores user chat logs directly on the server's file system and retrieves them using static URLs. Solve the lab by finding the password for the user Carlos and logging into their account. So the target goal over here is view the chat history for the Carlos user. Um, and in that history, we'll find his password and then we log into his account. Okay, let's access the lab. Now notice I'm using the built-in browser for Burp and so all my requests are already going through my Burp proxy. All right, the application loaded. It looks like it's a similar application to the one that we've been dealing with in previous labs. It does have a live chat functionality, which is new. So let's click on that. Um, it allows us to enter a message. So let's enter a message and hit send. Now notice over here, I sent a message and it gave me a response. Even when I send another message, I don't get an entry in my proxy, which means that I think this is done client side and that's why I'm, it's not going through my proxy. But either way, let's view the transcript and see what request it makes. So it makes a post request to download the transcript and then from there it redirects to this URL over here. And this looks like it's a static URL because it's just a single number and then a TXT document. So if we look at that specific URL, you could see over here the chat history that we just um, went through. So over here I said test and then the application responded and then right over here, sorry, and then I said test again and then the application responded and so on. So the first thing I want to test for is see if there's any other chat histories that I can access. So you could see over here it's 2.txt which means there must be a 1.txt. Hit send. And here we go, we gain access to another chat history. Now this is called an insecure direct object reference because you're able to directly access this object over here, which is 1.txt by simply adding a reference to the object. Now, if this had proper access control, what it should do is check if the user that is assigned to this session ID has access to this specific object. And if he or she does, then um, it should allow access to that object. But if he or she does not have access to that object, it should prevent the user from viewing that information. But clearly we have an insecure direct object uh, reference vulnerability over here. So let's see the chat. It looks like it's between another person and it doesn't classify which person it is, but uh, the person seems like they're having an issue with the account. And so the bot says, um, give me your password to configure, to confirm if it's correct or not. And so the user says, here you go. This is my password right over here. So let's copy that. Now this could be for any account. However, the exercise wants us to solve it for the Carlos account. And so my guess is this is for the Carlos account. In a real world pen test, you would try this password on a ton of accounts to see if it works. So let's go to my account, put in Carlos, put in the password, click login. And here we go. We get the message, congratulations, you solved the lab. All right, so we successfully completed this exercise by exploiting this vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.